Hello all, this is the part 2 video of autonomous navigation. Today we are spawning and controlling a differentially driven mobile robot in a Gazebo world. So let's start. In the last video we have uploaded, I have shown you that I have created a URDF folder. I had the folder in my e drive, I am pasting it in my catkin workspace. Open package.xml and change your email id to proper format. This is an issue of the URDF generated from old version of SOLIDWORKS and also open the launch folder and open gazebo.launch and change the robots to URDF. The URDF will be located inside the URDF folder so change uh, the location correctly. So we have changed opening terminal to build the workspace so we have to build the workspace using catkin underscore make command then go to the workspace folder then using catkin underscore make command build the workspace it will take some time so build is successful next thing is we have to launch the gazebo.launch file for that for launching gazebo.launch for the first time for launching a package for the first time sometimes we have to go to the src folder and call uh, ros launch space package name space name of the launch file so ros launch space package name is mob underscore rob underscore description space the launch file that we want to launch is gazebo.launch type that and press enter the robot will be spawned inside an empty gazebo world within a short span of time by clicking on view center of mass we will be able to see the center of mass of the assembly if we have generated the urdf correctly the center of mass will be uh, appropriate but uh, if there is some issue with our generation even though uh, the model has center of mass at the center there may be mismatches so in that case you can edit uh, the center of mass here to zero otherwise uh, if it is something related to the model you have to change the model that you have created otherwise the model will collapse when you do the real hardware for doing the simulation you can adjust it here so uh, the center of mass is at the center of the assembly so uh, the particular assembly is stable it will not collapse next thing is we want to drive this mobile robot we have two wheels left wheel and right wheel so uh, we are planning for making this a differentially drive mobile robot for making it a differentially drive mobile robot we have gazebo plugins we want to simulate it as a differentially driven mobile robot so copy the differentially driven plugin from the gazebo sim site and paste it in our urdf paste in the correct location otherwise uh, there will be errors in urdf so inside the robot tag you can place we have to change the join names of the wheels uh, for controlling our robot in gazebo world as a differentially driven robot so we are changing the left join to the name of the join that we have designed while creating the urdf in the solidworks in the last video so we are giving it as uh, wheel 2 join as the left join and wheel 1 join as the right join we have to calculate the wheel separation between the wheels and uh, give the particular value correctly we have to specify the wheel diameter we can also specify the other parameters like wheel acceleration torque etc and uh, the model that we are spawned in the gazebo world will be driven using a velocity topic the name of the velocity topic is cmd underscore well you can define it properly and the base frame of the mobile robot is robot underscore footprint and in this case 
So, we have fully defined the deficiency driven robot. But the issue is we do not have a base footprint link. So, uh, we have to add one more link uh, base footprint which in which the base link will be the child of the base footprint. So, for that uh, type uh, link name is equal to base footprint inside the tags. and make the base link as the child of the base footprint link. So, in the URDF, we have different links. Each link will be defined under link tag. Each join will be defined under join tag. Similarly, by giving this Gazebo reference is equal to base link, we will be uh, able to specify the material. So, by giving gazebo slash black, we will be able to give the color of the particular link. Similarly, by changing the gazebo reference is equal to link, we will be able to change the color of different links. If you want to change the color of wheel one, just give wheel one as the gazebo reference and select the material. Here I am selecting gazebo slash black as the material for getting black color for my wheels. Doing the same for all links to get colors properly. So, wheel 1, we have specified uh, the type of joints in the last video, wheel 1 and wheel 2 are continuous joints. From the URF, you will be able to see that both the joints are continuous and are properly defined. Now, we are going to launch the particular uh, gazebo.launch file again. So, now we are expecting the changes that we have made inside our URDF. There should be colors for the wheels, there should be colors for the base link. And we should be able to control the mobile robot using CMD command, velocity command. So, all the changes that we have made is reflected here. You can see the base link is having blue color, the wheels is having black color. And also, this particular mobile robot is expecting a command velocity, is expecting a velocity topic. And if this mobile robot is receiving a velocity topic, it will move. For the wheels, we are giving grey colour to make it more attractive. After the change, we are launching the gazebo.launch file again. So, it is spawned now, the wheels color changed from black to grey. Next thing is we need to control this robot using velocity command. So, uh, the gazebo world, the robot in the gazebo world subscribes to a velocity command. So, if someone publishes a velocity command, if someone uh, publishes a cmd underscore well command, the mobile robot will subscribe the cmd underscore well command and the mobile robot will move accordingly. In inside the cmd underscore well command, there will be uh, linear velocity, angular velocity, etc. So, robot will move accordingly. So, this is the package for uh, controlling the robot using keyboard. So, for installing the particular package, you can type sudo apt install rose melodic teleop twist keyboard. So, the package is properly installed. Then we need to run. You will get the commands inside the rose wiki page. Copy the command. Copy this command and paste it in terminal. So, basically this is a python script to publish velocity commands which can be used to move a mobile robot. So, ROS run space name of package space name of file. I will provide the command in description box or you can find in the documentation of teleop test keyboard package. So, by pressing I we will be able to move the robot inside our gazebo world. The wheels are moving properly. 
we have keys to move left, right, etc. And we also have keys like Q said to increase the speed, to increase the linear speed, uh, to increase the angular speed, etc. So according to our requirement, we can uh, give the speed, we can provide the directions using the keys. So today I have explained how to control a mobile robot in Gazebo using velocity commands. In next video, we will be adding plugins for camera and uh, finally we will be doing autonomous navigation. Thank you.